Hey guys, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone that's been watching my channel so far. Thanks for the people that have liked and thanks for the people to subscribe. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and remember to hit that subscribe button. My plan is because I've only got 10 days left here. When I got back from America, I got back into my running to raise uh, funds for uh, to go on my gap year. I ran a half marathon last year, then a half marathon, and then I got out of my running, and um, uh, and then but then after America, I've got back into it. But now I'm gonna try and run five miles every day for ten days until I go back to uni. So obviously I've done fifty miles, so that's the goal. And another goal of mine is to get fifty subscribers to my channel. So if you like. Uh, this, this video, make sure you subscribe because I've got my two goals in 10 days, one of which is running 50 miles and one of which is getting 50 subscribers, so fingers crossed. And uh, I'm gonna, just going to go for a run now, so take you guys with me. But um, I did a couple of like a few two mile runs with Georgia when she was here because she's been getting into her running. So like I've just been doing some quick two mile runs. So I might absolutely tire myself out after these five miles, but I'm gonna try and try and push myself a bit, get a, get a good time. I've just got the ninth plus out. So. And then it's been interesting to see like the distance and trying to beat my time. So, but as I said, I'm not going to find my run in a while, so I hope it will be okay. So, oh, it's just like runs around, there's good tracks to run around where I live. Just like random old fields and things. So, it's just on the like farm road tracks. The only thing that's difficult about running in all the fields here is that there's no shelter. So when it's windy and the wind's in your face, it makes it a lot harder. But I'm going to try and get to those houses in the distance and that'll be halfway and then run back. And that'll be my first five miles of my 10 day challenge. That's made me halfway there, and now I'm on my way back. I'm struggling a bit. It's funny how when you have a routine, you find something easy, and then when you get out of the routine, it's kind of hard to get back into it. So I'm just gonna make my way back. Five miles done, only four or five more to go. It was pretty hard. Amber and I've just come back home from George's in Darlington and uh, I uploaded one of my videos there because the Wi-Fi is not strong enough in our house yet. It takes for hours so uh, I downloaded vlog 6 at George's so this is vlog 7 now and um, the vlogs, I've got 10 more days here and I'm going to do some vlogs in that 10 days and then when I get back to university I'll, I'll have better Wi-Fi so I'll be able to download, download more vlogs uh, more frequently so that'll be perfect. Uh, last year on my gap here um, there's this little shop in Cambodia where I lived in Siem Reap and they sold like all the badges from around the world and it's been a year now and I've finally got them all onto the bag sewed on with the help of George's mum who's a 
very good sewer. So I didn't do it myself, but it's on a Dakin bag, and if anyone's going away traveling or uh, just want a decent bag, Dakin bags are such good quality. It's lasted so well. But I've got uh, United Kingdom, obviously, and then America. Some of my vlogs have been there, and then you can see some of my travels. And I lived in Malaysia for eight months instructing in that were band school and then I went to Cambodia for three months where I was teaching in Honor Village, I was teaching English and a little bit of uh, maths and then I went to Indonesia, Thailand, Vietnam and Singapore during my year two and I've got Botswana and Tanzania Botswana, like a couple, the couple more interesting ones. Botswana, I went with a few boys from school, and Tanzania was a family holiday. I'm actually meeting one of the boys tomorrow. I've not seen him since I've left school. He's been in in America, uh, on one of the Camp America programs. So it'll be really good to see him. And hopefully, fingers, fingers crossed. Uh, this time next year I'm hopefully planning to the three months that we get with the university holidays. I'm planning to spend two of those in planning to try and get out to Namibia to do some English teaching um, out there or just uh, some teaching in Namibia and then hopefully spending uh, a month in South Africa. Hopefully me and George will both be able to get out there, but I'm going to sort it out for myself first and then see if Georgia can come with me, but we're definitely planning to try and get out to Africa for at least a month. So hopefully on the bag I'll have Namibia and uh, South Africa added on and uh, then it'll be good for vlogging out there because I, I always watch Ben Brown and uh, his girlfriend Nicole's vlogs and they just make South Africa look amazing so I'm also trying to learn how to drive too so hopefully I'll be able to do some driving out there um, and go on some fun adventures I've got all these maps lying around and in 10 days we move into our new flat at uni so the camera's not fixing. Um, so, the plan is to get a really big map and then mark out all the places that we've been to. Um, it's because between us, me and George, have been to a lot of places over the world, so that'll hopefully look nice. 